All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Structure Free Learning. And in this video, I'm gonna do some engineering dynamics and do a pulley example. In this problem, you know, I've always thought, you know, I wanna have a pinata party. I wanna have a nice little pulley system so that it, I can control the speed when, as it goes up and down. So I've got this pulley system that has a height of five meters. And, and if dad runs with the speed of three meters per second, I wanna find out how fast does the pinata to move up when I've run a distance of about three meters. All right, so let's check this out. Here's what it looks like. Oh yeah, there's my tiger pinata. What's up? All right, so here's my pinata pulley system. And what we know is that dad over here is running, or he can run at a speed of three meters per second. And this height right here is equal to five meters. And what we'd like to know is how fast is this pinata moving up when the, when he is three meters away? And we're gonna say that here, dad over here, the distance that dad is away, we're gonna say he starts from right here. So we'll say this is where X equals zero and to where dad is right here, we're calling this positive X. And we wanna know what is the speed of the pinata here when X equals three meters. So the first thing that we need to do here after we have a sense of the schematic is in any pulley problem is to define the length of the cables with an equation. And as part of this, what you want to do is have a reference established for each particle that's moving. And so for instance, the man here or the dad that's running away, I call this my reference for him because he is quote unquote, a particle that is moving. And then the pinata would be my other particle. And for that, I, for this, I have to also establish a, a reference and I'm going to choose for the pinata, I'm going to choose a fixed location. I'm going to choose the location of this pulley right here. So this line right here will represent my reference for the pinata. Boom. And I'm going to call this plus, ooh, plus y. Now I can draw all the way to the tiger or the pinata, but really the pinata is connected to this pulley wheel, which is all moving together. So I like to just go ahead and go to my shortest or my point where everything is attached together, if you will. This point right here would represent the location that I would need plus Y for my pinata. And that helps me see the cable length a little bit easier. And so now when I describe an equation for my cable length, I would take, let's see, anything outside of this plus Y would be a constant value, if you will, a constant length. So I'm gonna lump all the constants into one location. But what I would have this length right here, which would be Y, I have a constant, which I'm just gonna, don't worry about constant, I'm gonna lump them all into one value. And then I have this length right here. So I have two Y plus the length of this portion of the cable right here. Because this is a right angle or right triangle right here, I can just call that length x squared plus h squared is equal to the length squared. And that would mean that this length of the cable right there is plus L equal to, and everything else would be considered a constant. And I know some of you may be thinking, oh, what about the accuracy up to this point right here? Well, technically this would be part of that constant that would just pop out later. But nonetheless, it's kind of the same relationship. So here, 2y plus l equal to my constant. And l is this, if I substitute for l, I would have 2y plus the square root of x squared plus h squared equal to a constant. And now, since I'm talking about velocities here, what I want to do is take a time derivative. And here I have to remember that y and x are functions of time, whereas h, because the man is running on a horizontal path, h doesn't change. And so if I take the time derivative of this, I'm going to be able to relate the velocity. So here, if I take a two, I'll just call this two y dot plus the derivative of this whole term right here is going to give me a one half x squared plus h squared to the minus one half. And then I've got to take a time derivative of the 
inside, which will be 2x, and then of the derivative of x, which is x dot, that time derivative. And all this, the derivative of a constant, is equal to zero. And here, if I, if I call these velocities, I would have this, another way I could write this is just simply 2vy plus 1 half x squared plus h squared to the minus 1 half times 2x vx equal to zero. And now I can solve for vy, I can rearrange this, solve for vy, and I would get this vy is negative x over 2x squared plus h squared to the 1 half times vx. I have a relationship between the velocity of the pinata and velocity of the dad. And now vy, if I solve plugging and chugging, I would get vy is negative times three meters per second. And this would tell me that the velocity of the pinata is negative 0.77 meters per second. And the negative sign just means that in terms of our coordinate system, positive, we define going away from the reference, so going down, if you will. So that means the negative just indicates that the pinata is actually going up. So this is 0.77 meters per second upwards. All right, hopefully that was an interesting and useful video. Again, just remember that cable length equation. Something that might be tricky is relating the cable length in terms of you know, the, the Pythagorean theorem, but that's no big deal. It's just still part of the cable length. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. All right, you know what's up, structure free.